Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. We're going to get two of these oracle cards and reveal them at the end. Unless one wants to fly out and turn up right, then you know, you'll get to see it now. But we will see what comes up. What do we have for the sign of Gemini? Well, it flew out, but it didn't turn up, so. Gemini in love. What's going on with Gemini? Same. Flew out, but didn't flip over. Sign of Gemini. Now, this could uh, be for Moon, Rising, or Venus because this is a love reading. So, Gemini. Well, you could be dealing with a fire sign or you could be feeling really attractive. You Maybe you are working on yourself right now. Maybe you are working on building your confidence or you're feeling very confident about who you are. Um, whatever is going on here, there's, there's a lot of passion, okay? Maybe the passion within you is growing for something. You never know. Yeah, it looks like you guys are standing up for yourself. You're standing strong. Uh, there could have been some unwelcome news. You may have received something, some something conflicting, some conflicting words or some communication that didn't didn't come across very well. Um, maybe somebody has been or wanting you to sacrifice, or you've been sacrificing too much for for another person. Whatever this is, you may be dealing with somebody that is younger than you that is causing you some problems put it that way you could be dealing with another person that is problematic okay and they're stalling your progress or they have been stalling your progress that could certainly be the case uh, whoever, whatever's going on you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart and I'm not sure who this is but um, you're going through some sort of transformation Gemini something is ending and something new is beginning Are you releasing something? Yeah, there's some power struggles here. Yeah, things are happening. What the hell is going on? <coughs> I feel like you guys have been going back and forth on a situation, but you're standing your ground. It looks like you're winning, whatever this is. Whatever's going on, you've got the upper hand. That's what it looks like to me. You have the upper hand because you have the confidence and the courage and the strength to prevail. Okay, you're, you're like you're like the winner here. That's what I see. And the person you're dealing with could be a little upset because they're not winning. Okay, they're not. They can't win against you. Who the hell they think they are? That's what I see. I, it's like you you're 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 doing really good here. I feel like the, whoever else you're dealing with, they are probably not all that thrilled with your stamina or your stance. You know, your ability to. Stay right where you're at. Like, you're budge. I'm not going to budge, whatever this is. I feel like somebody has been trying to get you to break, and you aren't breaking. I'm not breaking. Sorry. Yeah. You know, this could, again, have something to do with a child. I don't know. I and mean, I just have to tell you that. Um, but anyway, I feel like... There's some kind of loss here, and it could be of a, a, a family member. And I don't, I don't mean death. I mean, even, you know, the death card is here. Maybe a child is moving away. Um, but 
there's some family feuds again okay maybe there's a loss of children maybe there's been a split and the children are gone with the ex or who knows what's going there's a there's a argument with the ex over children there's something to do with children here and it's causing some family feuds causing some feuds just like it was last week there's some feud in here and but i think that you are you're you're like <laughs> i'm in control and if you don't like it you can kick rocks so anyway, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they don't have the financial means to do anything, okay? Whoever you're dealing with doesn't, and they don't have the energy, they don't have the passion. They, whoever you're dealing with is lacking stability and security. And therefore, you know, you definitely have the upper hand. You do have the upper hand. I feel like there is definitely some conflicts, there's instability, and there's power struggles with another person. Could be over money, could be over children. Okay, but I feel like you are the victor in this matter, whatever it is, that, you know, you don't have any fear, you know exactly what you're doing, and they may not be happy with your strength. Okay, this is what this is. Looks like you're pretty strong. Whew. Yeah, you're restoring control. You're you're restoring control into your life. All right? If you've released a toxic situation and whoever the person is that you are have released, they not might not be happy with it. Okay? You're seeing the truth. You're you're seeing the light. It's like I see and it feels like you you have all this life experience and strength behind your back. So much so that you are unbreakable, you know, and I think this is pretty similar to last week's. I can't really remember all of last week's, but it seems like it's very similar energy. I feel as though you guys are just so confident, really confident. Uh, there may be times when you're on the edge and you feel like quitting, but that's just a that's just a moment. It doesn't really come to play. You may feel like, oh my God, how much longer do I have to put up with this shit? But you still put up with this shit and you grow every single time you do. You learn something new. You have so many skills for success that it's like, pff, why are they even trying? They're like wasting their time. I, I feel like you are very determined to do to get what you want and your determination is absolutely going to pay off there's a choice here that you have to make and and you know I feel like whatever this choice is you're gonna make the right decision there could also be a new love entering your life if you are single if you are single there could be an unexpected um, offer of love that you that you might take okay and this person will probably love you for who you are so if you are single there is an opportunity if you're open for that if you're not then so be it you may be just focusing on your finances right now maybe you don't want this this love because you're focusing on your own stability your own structure right now but i do feel like there's a feeling of love here that could be had if you want it okay i feel like you have turned your back on a situation and you've released something and you've truly released it. I mean, you've released it. The other person may not have released it, but you have. I think that you've moved on emotionally from somebody and the fire has been lit within you and you're probably, you know, putting out high vibrations which are pulling people towards you. Okay, I just want to make sure this is zoomed in. Either way, you guys are coming out of a darkness. You're coming out of a period of darkness and conflict. You know, you've been through some conflicts. You've been through some a toxic situation in which now I think that you have freed yourself from and you're moving forward with your head held high. And I think because your head is held high and you're feeling so good about yourself and you're looking so good that they're, they're, you could have a new interest here, a new love interest. But you may not want it. You may want to just focus on your finances. You may not really want to. Maybe you don't have time for it. I mean, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Some of you want it. Some of you don't. Somebody could be coming in very, very quickly in your direction. So keep that in mind. You may have an opportunity that, you know, comes up very suddenly. And you're just like, wow, where the heck did this come from? Okay, so yeah, I feel like you may, for many of you, you're, you're, you're not wanting it. 
many of you you're just concentrating on yourself right now you're concentrating on your money your stability your home your finances for some of you you're very indecisive about it yeah you know maybe you get this offer of love and you're undecided you're like oh no this wasn't what I was looking for you know I was doing so good on my own I was doing so great and now I have all this this somebody has come in and they're it's appealing it's too appealing you know it's like woo this is this is it wasn't what I was expecting now I got to make a decision you know I feel like you may be even overwhelmed that you have to make this decision you may be even feeling like you're emotionally detached right now because this is overwhelming I, I feel like You've gone through a period of isolation. You've gone through a period of focus. And you may be even feeling like... I feel like you no longer want to be alone. You know, some of you do, some of you don't. Some of you just want to be alone and some of you don't. Some of you do and some of you don't. I feel like with this hermit card, there's like a midlife crisis kind of feeling here. Somebody's been through a midlife crisis that has changed them into a different person. Interesting, huh? Many of you are indecisive about this, or you will be indecisive about this new offer of love because you have this fear that in the end they're just going to let you down anyway so why would I even want to get involved when I'm just going to be let down they aren't going to want me maybe they don't want me because of who knows what I feel like you have this fear of being let down there's definitely some indecision here regarding this choice that you have to make you've made a lot of progress you have. You've made a lot of progress. You've you've brought a lot of success to your life, and that's why you're scared. It's like shit. Do I want to go backwards? What if I go backwards? What if what if I invest in this person? They bring me backwards. What if they don't want my children? Because we have children here a couple times. What if they don't mix with my family well? What if they don't really want a relationship? You may feel like you're not ready for a relationship. Some of you are. Some of you aren't. It's crazy. Some of you aren't, don't really want a relationship. You're just working on your finances, your job, your career. Maybe you've just come out of a relationship or you're thinking about coming out of a relationship. Maybe you're thinking about, to hell with this shit, I don't even need it anymore. Either way, some of you are have made a lot of progress on your own, taking care of yourself. And you don't really want to go backwards. And you're probably overwhelmed by this new offer, this sudden offer of love. It's like... Frickin' A. I think that you are emotionally guarded because you have these fears that of whatever. You have these fears. You you were in a toxic situation that has taught you something and now you got your guard up. So you may block this new offer. You may not want to communicate. You may be feeling a, you know, like I don't I don't want this because you're going through some sort of indecision so there may be a period of time here where you don't even want to talk to somebody because maybe it's this new person because you're you're so like oh my god this is unreal these just fell out you could have been involved in a third party situation three 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 so maybe you're fearing a third party situation you know, either way, there's prob there's the likelihood of a third party situation is pretty damn good here. At one time, maybe there was. And maybe you've really done some healing. You've done some mending. You've done some work. And so I think that for, for maybe forgiveness is needed. Can you forgive? Do you forgive? Will they forgive? Maybe you feel like you're just going to waste your time. Am I going to waste my time if I, if I do this? But you're being called to live in the now. Don't, don't focus on the past. Live in the now. Be playful. Have some fun. Let yourself have some fun. There could be a reconciliation here. But I think that you're going to be up in the air about this reconciliation 
This could be, it doesn't have to be a reconciliation, it could be a new person as well. There is some sort of offer of love in which you will probably be called to make a choice and it's going to be a difficult choice because this whatever decision you make, it's going to change your life, okay? It paves the road to the future. So I feel like, you know, someone may be trying to establish a relationship with you and you're like, oh, shit. Do I or don't I? So are you really clear on what you want? Because this is a week of making a decision. Don't let the past hold you back, Gemini. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will, will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Like I said, don't bring the past with you. Whoever let you down the past was a douchebag. And it's over. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Like I said, it's a big decision. This is a week of decision. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the deci decision you are about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. This is a week of making a pretty big decision in your life. Do you want this or not? Take all the time you need to make the decision. Don't rush into it. Because there will be consequences either way. The lover's card is about consequences. If you, you know, there will be consequences. If you, if you do it, you know, what's going to happen? Could be good consequences. Consequences are, can be good or bad. If you don't do it, then you'll never know. Stay optimistic. It could turn out well. Talk to you later.